In this video, we are going to be looking at galvanised steel. What is galvanising? Galvanising is the process of applying a layer of zinc on a steel substrate to provide galvanic corrosion protection. There are a number of known processes by which zinc can be applied to the steel surface. Optic galvanising, which involves the dipping of prepared steel into a bath of pure molten zinc metal to form an amalgam of zinc and iron. Electro-galvanising is the deposition of a metallic film on a prepared surface by electrolysis. Zinc-rich primers, application of anti-corrosive primers containing high levels of powdered zinc metal, which when in direct contact with the steel surface provide high performance galvanic corrosion protection. In addition to these processes, there are also different zinc alloy products including zinc alum, duragalv, zinc anneal, amongst others. Hop dip galvanised steel in its own right is a protective layer and typically is left uncoated. In cases where hop dip galvanising requires coating, it's important to follow a critical surface preparation process. What I have here is a cut piece of galvanised steel and as you'll see is that it looks in good order, nice and shiny. At the ends where it's been cut, you can see where corrosion has started to uh, begin at the, at the bare mild steel edge. And one of the reasons why I picked this galvanised piece is that I've purposely left this sample sitting in water to show you that once exposed to very high humidity or immersion, the galvanised layer consumes itself very rapidly to expose the mild steel, steel substrate underneath. So what this galvanising layer is doing, it's sacrificing itself to protect the mild steel layer beneath and that's the term galvanic or sacrificial protection. As you can see, galvanising on its own is a shiny layer of molten zinc. Normally, it's left on its own without being coated. It provides a decorative finish, hard wearing and quite abrasive resistant. The reason why you would paint galvanising is to change the colour or the appearance of the galvanising, but also to offer it further protection in a corrosive environment like a marine environment. The trick is to properly prepare the galvanising, so areas like this where you've got spot rusting will need to be cleaned or power tool cleaned or re-abrasive blasted to remove the corrosion. This zinc oxide layer of the galvanising also needs to be removed because it's lightly adherent to the substrate. So all of this can be either just sanded off, as you can see it's coming off my hands, but all of this light rusting or zinc oxide rust or residue needs to be removed prior to coating, otherwise it would affect coating adhesion to the substrate. There's surface preparation options for galvanising like this and you could use power tool cleaning with a sanding disc. It's best to avoid any type of metallic type of abrasive method or cleaning method whereby you could have the fines of, of the metal sticking to the galvanising causing corrosion. You could also abrasive blast or whip abrasive blast galvanising to provide a very fine profile and to ensure that there's a slight anchor pattern for coatings to adhere to. Uh, when the galvanising is new, it can be quenched in, in oils to make it uh, look shiny and, and look good for a while. Those need to be also removed by degreasing. The, the degreaser to use for this galvanising is the Gamlin CA number one, where we would basically degrease and get any oil or dirt off that surface. Uh, it's important to rinse all of that off with fresh water to make sure there's no alkaline detergent remaining on the surface. A couple of points to remember. Avoid using an alkyd or oil-based undercoat and in this particular case I would pick our durable STE which is a solvent containing high build epoxy coating and that would perform a nice primer to seal the substrate and avoid further corrosion. It's important to lightly abrade the galvanised surface to promote coating adhesion. It's important to not completely remove the galv layer or introduce unnecessary damage. Galv dags, spatter or any other defects should also be rectified prior to coating. Galvanising or zinc metals are not compatible with alkyd or oil-based resins or coatings. Saponification can occur between the alkyd or the oil-based coating and the galvanising layer causing the coating to blister and delaminate from the galvanising surface. Common coatings for priming galvanised surfaces can include acrylic type primers and epoxy primers. Depending on the environment where the structure will be placed, it's important to refer to the product data sheet with regards to the types of coatings to be used over galvanising, 
the dry film thicknesses and the overall system. This will ensure that premature breakdown of the coating will not occur over the galvanised surface which is highly reactive to oxygen and moisture. For any further information, contact your Dulux Protective Coatings representative.